Hi, this is Dr. Kandan Karpaya Kumar. I'm a hand and upper extremity surgeon from Bangalore. I basically operate uh, in uh, Bosch Hospital, Bangalore. I'm going to be presenting a series of x-rays and how we go about treating uh, scaphoid non-unions. Scaphoid is a small bone in the wrist. It's an, it's an extremely small bone as compared to the rest of the bones in the body, but damage to it can cause lasting impact on wrist function and pain. It, it, this bone is a little unusual because it has a poor blood supply and therefore once it gets fractured it needs to be uh, dealt with carefully otherwise it goes on to non-union and uh, progressively causes wrist arthritis pain and disability. This is an x-ray of an 18 year old boy who had a scaphoid waist fracture that is through the middle of the scaphoid and it was not treated initially with a cast and therefore he progressed to non-union or failure to unite. So considering his age, pain and symptoms, we decided to go ahead and um, operate this uh, fracture. So initially in, in these non-unions, you have to make a small incision about uh, maybe an inch or so. We have to prepare the fracture ends up to bleeding bone so that when we put in bone graft that is small pieces of bone from elsewhere in the body in this case we took it from the uh, forearm itself that is the distal radius but in many other cases we need to take a small piece of bone from the hip to substitute the loss of bone that occurs because of the non-union so here we have prepared the uh, bone edges up to bleeding bone and this is the x-ray image after we have done that then we proceeded to take a small bit of bone from his distal radius that is his forearm itself and we have put it in between the two fracture ends in the spaces and fixed temporarily with the pin we check the correct placement of the pin on the x-ray and then we proceed to um, fix it with the screw and this is the most important step in the whole procedure so this is another view of the same um, um, bone which is fixed with a pin. Now we then we go ahead and we proceed to fix it with a small headless screw. The screw is buried deeply in the bone and it takes care of uh, or stabilizes the bone till the fracture unites. It usually takes about 10 to 12 weeks for the fracture to unite depending upon the vascularity and other factors associated with the patient. And this is something that we saw at the end of about 6 weeks where the fracture is beginning to unite and this is the other view in which uh, we can see that the fracture is beginning to join together and this is an x-ray that is taken at the end of three months which shows complete fracture union so we expect about 90 to 95 percent of these patients to go on to unite um, and um, we have to put in, put them in a cast till they unite and it takes about three months or so as i said and sometimes <coughs> in five to ten percent of cases they may not unite and then in those cases you have to go probably go back in and use something called as vascularized bone graft. This is at four months which is showing solid union. The patient went on to do very well. Please get in touch with me if you have any queries.